All right. Well, we are moving right along. Me. I don't want to die. I don't want to suffer. Miss Noel, you're a murderer who made a deal with the devil. You had it coming. There were consequences for what you did. I just wanted to be the featured pianist. I told you it wasn't that big of a deal, but no, you had to go and summon a demon. You told me the president of Stella Stage is a horrible person. Oh, how wonderful. You wish to murder someone for such a lame reason. However, the cost of a murder is your arms and legs. Full Metal Alchemist. No one told me I would have to pay such a cost. You killed someone. Do you think it's forgivable? You're such a selfish person, Noel. That's... You wanted to be the featured pianist that bad? Will you kill me next time to be the featured pianist? I will if you keep asking questions. I don't do such things. I just want to be saved. I don't want to be in pain. Help, help me. Someone. Hmm? Panting. It's just a dream. I can't feel my arms. I can't feel my legs. Where am I? What happened to me? It was I should get up. Good luck with that. My arms are gone. Ugh. Your legs are probably gone too. Ah, uh, now I remember. I remember making a deal with a devil in an abandoned building. My arms and legs. But these, these legs. Oh, we got some new ones from Amazon. Some have legs again, but this feels so wired. Oh my god, they're artificial. Full Metal Alchemist. Why is my dress all so clean? First figure out why I'm in such a strange place. Oh. Ouch. There used to be some tricks to walk properly with these legs. Oh no, wait a minute. How do I get up? Help! I've fallen and I can't get up. You need life alert. Manage to stand up. Every time I fall down, do I have to put this much effort using a wall in my body to stand? Well, yeah. Sorry to break it to you, but... Okay. Let's, let's switch it up a bit. Kitchen hasn't been used. Now this could be bad if there was a chase scene, I can only imagine. Try not to fall. What happened to me? Still alive? Artificial legs? We can rebuild you. We have the technology. Mm -hmm. Sucks. Metal Gear Solid, The Phantom Pain. Whoa! Not familiar with this area. That's crazy. Wow. Okay, we're not going to talk to anyone. Okay, I guess we are. Oh no, no one looks decent. I'm tired from walking around with artificial legs. Maybe it's better to go back. Deus Ex Human Revolution. Aha! Birdman. Welcome back, you're up. So as a devil, do you just like rent an apartment a few months out of the year? Or... I like his theme. It's really good. Calm down now. Great devil doesn't attack humans without a good reason. I've been really impressed by some of the soundtrack choices lately. The last time I liked it this much was um, Angels of Death Sats 10, which is getting an anime too. But, oh man, Eliminate Locked was such a good song, but this is, this is good too. Take my arms and legs. Where do they go? Like, after you take them, you just like, eat them? Or do they go off to like, the ghost dimension? How dare you. Guess that's an actual, a natural reaction. That's alright, because you didn't know all the details. However, it's no one's fault you ended up like that, but yourself. It's definitely your own stupidity. What? You owe me some explanation. 
Where am I and what happened after that? Okay, okay, stop getting worked up or your stitches will open. I'll tell you everything, so just calm down, have some dip. You're not going to lose anything else, so there's no reason to rush. Hint. You better listen. Where am I? First of all, an abandoned house in the slums. No one lives here. Slums. I learned about slums from text. Oh, wow. Why am I in such a place? Because you're a criminal who made a deal with the devil. If you go to a hospital, they'll ship you to a prison right away. Can't you just say you lost all your limbs in a boating accident or something? They'll totally believe you. Or is that like the standard costs? Like, I diagnose you with, uh... Devil deal symptoms are missing all your limbs. Okay. What happened? Karen, what happened? Be prepared for a shock. Surprise! Sibylla asked you to summon a devil. You did as you were told, made a wish, without knowing the nature of a contract with the devil. What do you mean? Listen, making a deal with the devil has its cost. I can only imagine. A legitimate contractor has to pay the cost. What the cost will be all depends on the devil. You mean my arms and legs were taken as the cost? That doesn't make any sense. I made a deal with you to be the feature pianist. Well, what does he look like? A charity case? Because of the payment you took, I can't be the featured pianist. Can't even play the piano anymore. Oh, so you take ironic payment. Your wish was to kill the president. Feature pianist or whatever was a motive, but it wasn't a contract. Oh. Should've learned to read, fool. Devils take your soul in exchange, not money. Devils are that dangerous for humans. You can see it by now, can't you? That's why Sibylla talked you into making the deal. You were exploited by Burroughs and Sibylla. We'll kill them. We'll kill them all. Why are you here? The deal must be over. Yes, it's done. The first contract to kill the president of Stella Stage is fulfilled. The first contract? Put an open contract on the president of Stella Stage. You made another wish. Help me. I can't wait to see what he's going to take this time. I accept it as the second contract. So I pulled you out of the sea, treated your wounds, and carried you here. Alright, legitimate question. How do you, uh, how do you stitch someone up if you've got, like, bird hands? That must be too hard to live without arms and legs. So I generously gave you those artificial legs, so sh show some appreciation. Ugh. So thank me, come on. Oh, thank you very much? Question mark? Good. Where are the clothes I was wearing? Well, my dress, it seems to be brand new. I looked for a similar dress and changed it for you. The old dress was soaked with blood and torn apart. Yeah, that tends to happen when you cut off someone's arms and legs. Have I mentioned that he cut off our arms and legs yet? You mean you looked at... Looked at what? I mean, you changed my dress, so you must have touched me as well. No, I did it with my... My psychic energies. Pervert, how dare you do that to taint a girl's innocence. This is what you're worried about, after becoming a freaking quadruple amputee by this devil? Oh, I see. Don't worry, devils have no interest in a human's naked body. Not even a little bit. Moreover, a kid like you has nothing to look at. Ooh, roasted. As they say, 100 years too early. He's one of those, uh, those older, mature ladies. Talk like a devil. Walk like a devil. Look like a devil. He's a devil. Break through! He's slowly understanding the situation you're in. You're screwed. Then get out of my way. Don't make me stand around and chit chat anymore. <laughs> He's got his feet put up. He looks relaxed. Are you slowly understanding? Yeah. Not a whole lot more could change now, could it? 
There is still something I don't understand. I understand my current situation and figured out the reason why. You pulled me out of the ocean and stayed with me. Did you now? Well, tell me if I can see if you got it right. Uh-oh. You're going to make me pay for the second contract. You saved my life, so you want me to pay the cost with my life? Isn't that right? Chuckle, chuckle. You're wrong, little girl. Hmm? I don't want such a meaningless deal. Listen, a contract with the devil should be of a much darker nature. Bag of corn chips. Humans gamble with their souls to get ahead. It has to be something that's stupid, disgusting, and hilarious. Tear apart an arm to gain wealth, shred their life to be happy. He's a very, uh, flamboyant devil, is showman-like. Sort of silly desires of the nature is making a deal with the noble devil. They snuggle in their pile of gold as their bodies are taken apart and bloodied. That's the best entertainment. Oh good, he seems like a very reasonable fellow. Look at Russell, he uses a loophole in the contract. And you're some stupid girl who doesn't even know what a devil is. I, I read about them in my textbooks. It's absurd and spoiling the beauty of it. You humans should stop messing around and be more afraid of devils and respect their power. What? Excuse me, why are you taking it out on me out of the blue? I should be the one telling you to stop messing around. You don't make sense at all. I also feel like he's got his hands in his pockets as a sprite. It's pretty cool. That's important to you. You should make sure of it before making a deal. I did ask you. It's your will to kill someone by making a deal with devil. How was I to understand that? You could have made it clear. You silly millennial. Oh. Next thing you know, he's going to tell you to stop buying avocado toast to save your house. Oh. Birdhead. Kaka. Not a bird, I'm a devil. Man, human, same thing. Never mind. Can't believe the millennials in this world. Did you ruin the the solid soap market too? We were both fooled into an unwanted deal. They're killing the uh, the dryer sheet industry. I'll cancel the contract, so please give me back my arms and legs. I can't uncancel the death, I would think. Idiot, things are not that simple and convenient. No one returns from death and you can't cancel the contract. Therefore, you have to live the rest of your life with your scar. Words that kill, would you speak them to me? No way. Can't play the piano without my arms and legs. Could get prosthetics, that's always an option. I didn't even think about such a thing. Yeah, I can tell you don't do a lot of thinking. Just wanted to be the best pianist, that's all I wanted. Hmm, I have good news for you. What? I'm not a heartless machine, so I have some flexibility. You wish to kill the present of Stella Stage, but you were forced to wish that, right? Yes, that's right. If you knew that you were going to lose your arms and leg, you wouldn't have made the deal. Of course not. Alright, then that was an unfair deal. You can't cancel the deal, but I'll give you another chance. Ooh. If you can defeat the puppeteer who tricked you into this, we're gonna kill them. Kill them all. I'll give you back the cost you paid. Puppeteer, you mean... Russell Burroughs. He pretends to be a good person, but he's the biggest villain in Laplace. Even this contract of yours. But it had nothing to do with becoming the featured pianist. It was simply because the president of Stella's stage was interfering with Burroughs' money-making. That's all. So he made up some stories to convince you, and took care of the president using the power of the devil. Of a devil. I assume that was their intention. It's a conspiracy. Greater things at work here. Then, are you asking me to fight against Burroughs? It means you take revenge on that vicious mayor who tricked and used you. You should destroy his bloody throne. Revenge. Revenge! You wish to help me. This contract is valid until you complete your... something. 
To be honest with you, I'm furious. They exploited contract with noble devils. To get your revenge and regain your arms and legs, you need me and my power to fight against them. And I need to stop them and destroy this absurd contract. I need a legitimate contractor. PMCs. I'm not pleased with this. However, we need each other to accomplish what we want. I guess. Can't forgive them. That's right, you can't forgive Burroughs and Sibylla. So, I'm going to go on my own. You can look with that. Yes, what are you going to do? Say it, how much do you hate them? I'll go and talk to him directly. What? Can I meet him at the mayor's residence? Oh come on, the mayor's residence is their base. It's stupid to go straight to such a dangerous place. But I simply want to go there to ask some questions. What's wrong? It's perfectly, cl perfectly clear to me now. You just don't have a brain after all. You're the living proof of their crime. To them, you're supposed to be dead by now. The person who knows too much came to their door and said, Hello, it's me. What would they do? You would totally, definitely, and absolutely be killed this time. Forget it. But still... I can't believe anything until I talk to the mayor directly. His secretary just betrayed you and threw you off a roof. I'm like, well, I guess we could give peace a chance. It's hard to believe that the mayor is a villain. No one on the plus will believe it. That's why we're going to destroy the city. You're so brainwashed that you're blind to the truth. No wonder Russell marked you as a target. You don't have to follow me if you don't want to. I don't even know if you're telling me the truth. If I let you go alone, you're going to die in a second, and will never be able to override the contract. At least he's concerned about upholding his end of the deal. Damn, just this once. If you don't take revenge on this on Burroughs, I have no reason to help you further. But I can't let you die now. I'll help you sneak into the mayor's residence this one time. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's the end of the first episode. Season 1, Mortal Revenger. Revenge! Oh wait, we're still playing. Shoot. How are you doing with your artificial legs? I also like the music choice here. This is good. How are you doing with your artificial legs? I have no problem as long as I walk slowly. You can't use your arms to break your fall if you trip. Please stop making comments that make me mad. I feel like picking on you, because you're insane. I need to hear it directly from him, otherwise I can't sort out my thoughts. Did Mayor Burroughs really deceive me, or... You're out of your mind. This is the guy who first deceived you, and then tried to kill you. But you'll voluntarily go to see him. So you naively think that truth can never be changed, little girl. But if talking to him will help you see that, I'll go with you this time. Noel Cerchetti. Hmm? That's my name, Devil Caron. How rude of you to call me you or little girl. Too long. I won't even bother to remember your last name. Then, Noel, Burroughs is in the mayor's residence. The mayor's in the mayor's residence? First, this garden. We'll slip by those security guards. A good sneaking mission. I like that our sprite briefly I saw updated there. Hmm. Mission open. Your wall moves around as an NPC, so you control Caron instead. Seems no one wants to say something. There is a guard. The mayor's residence is the most important building in the city. Actually, I just realized that we are playing the RPG equivalent of an escort mission, which is something that I'm not a huge fan of, but seems pretty innovative for innovative blah, for an RPG. Strict surveillance, feeble mind. Really sneaking around. Can't you just snap your fingers and be done with it? Devils only allows to use the miracle the moment a deal properly goes through. It's possible if you want to have another contract with me right here. Let's not waste it, shall we? 
You have to sneak by the security and hide in the shadows as you move ahead. But I can't move as fast as you can with these legs. Damn, how did I end up babysitting a suicidal girl? Career choices, man. I'll support your body, so try not to fall. It would be much faster than keeping your balance and walking on your own. Since Noelle can't walk fast, there are some points where she can't get through alone. Cross point pass quickly. Charon should support and carry her. How do I do that? Okay, let's wait. I can't believe that worked. Breakthrough. Stealth bonus. Oh, this is gonna be. It's gonna be something. Four levels of this. All right. Oh. Who's there? They caught us. You fool. Take them out. Charon can fight. Body slam your enemies. Oh boy. I'm not too sure about the combat thing here. Okay, so you can't fight that long. Have been reading. Okay, not your friend. Let's get going. Let's body slam some fools. First aid kit. Oh no, wait up! Okay, let's go. We gotta go through the back. Stop moving so quickly. Oh, that's a searchlight. Whoops. Okay. Any place to go up. Back attack. This is actually pretty interesting. Is he gonna jump? Alright. Dead end. Your chain? What? That's wild. Breakthrough. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can get away with like a. Uh... Breakthrough. Oh, dang it, I didn't kill him. It's an item, too. Oh, well. Hmm. Open window. Second floor. Let's see. There's a way. Oh, boy. <laughs> Devil chain, I suppose? Well, beggars can't be choosers if you hadn't lost your arms. She's just gonna lay there and die. <laughs> Push Noel. <laughs> Position Noel, who is acting like a baby. This is actually pretty fun. I like it. Oops. Fit. 
Oh no! Here. Get in there. This part where? Oh shoot! Which is the air vent? Okay, you just lay there. Ah, back there. Whoops. Okay, we gotta get Noel up there, I think. Oh dear. We appear to be stuck. So much for my bonus, dang it. Let's see. Shh, be quiet. People will hear you. <laughs> Get screwed. All right, time for some, uh, time for some murder. All right, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do it. Breakthrough. Whoops. Clear bonus. Bodyguard. Stance. Ooh. Let's see if any stance. Actively equip with it. Ooh. Ooh, plus two. Seems useful. Okay, now I want something combat based, is what. Oh, it didn't even give me the two health when I added it. Now it's five out of seven. Cheapskates. Ooh, clock noises. Okay, there's something at the end of the hallway. Let's not. We don't trust like that. Third floor. Directly above us. Let's go through the floor straight up. Dig a hole. How much do you know? Anyone can look into the floor plan. Seems you have no idea. A few words too many. Let's move. Let's mosey. What? It's spooky. We're breaking into this dude who, like, tried to kill you. Alright, just in case. Oh, we can't. Alright, we're gonna do it. Actually, no, we're not. Breaching? Guess not. Who's there? Somebody hiding? How do you do? Little girl came back from hell to see you. I see, I can guess what's going on here. Guess you saved her. You made a deal with her to help her. A deal. I see, I see. Well, Noel, you're here without an appointment in the middle of the night. What is it that you want? I'd like to know what happened in that abandoned building. I want to hear it directly from you. The devil told me that you tricked and exploited me. I remember that Sybil had did something terrible to me. That's all. Well, wasn't that some kind of mistake? You're so naive. Oh my god. Oh? You were controlled by a devil or tricked into it, or no, he's just evil, actually. Sybil acted on her own, you have nothing to do with it or something, because you're a mere wrestled Burroughs. One recognized you as the most popular person in Laplace. On the day of the competition, you were so kind talking to me, da, da, da. okay, yeah, we get it. 
Noelle, you came all this way to ask me such a silly question. So you really are a stupid girl. Oh, he's talking in red! Not to be trusted. What? Come on, give me a break. I ordered the scapegoat killed, however you're still alive, and now you're here with the devil to kill me. How could he have manipulated us all this time? Are you sure that you're not under the control of somebody else, of some evil devil? Oh no, this is all me. Where have I heard this song and dance before? That devil had to be you. Pretty busy. Rather not waste any more time on what's already- Don't tell me that he's a great, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat guy, too. That would really wrap up the whole package nicely. Yes, Sybil has done a sloppy job, but I'm amazed to see you here. And while well, Circadi, I'll give you an exclusive glimpse of the true colors of Russell Burroughs. Purple and gray, apparently. You want to know why we exploited you? That's simple, to make you pay the cost. The, your devil explained the whole deal thing already. Pay cost, number of deals can make is limited. Usually one to three times at most. But look at me, I didn't make a wish directly to a devil. So I didn't lose any of my body parts as a cost. You became my scapegoat and paid instead of me. I don't like it at all. There's no dignity in that. The nature of a contract to the devil is... A human and a devil make it one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't break the rule on that. No, well, you did voluntarily make a wish for me. It's like a uh, tacit consent or whatever. You've been kidnapped on the boat and you're 900 miles in the middle of the ocean. The only choice is either to stay there and be enslaved or to jump off of your free will, right? It's a fair deal. Not. But. I just noticed that the song goes pretty hard. That's incredible. Laplace was saved from the ruthless Stella stage. That's a fact, isn't it? Laplace was saved? <laughs> well, excuse me. What did Sybilla tell you? That Stella stage is connected to one of the contestants, or they're trying to control Laplace with their money or something like that? I like the kind of like exit trance thing going on here. That's all some made up stories. I prefer to call them alternative facts. To convince you, you know. So, are you satisfied? Well then, it's time for you to die. No, Miss Noelle, I expect you to die. Ooh, damn, when did you do this? Now that I think I'm as powerful as you are, but never be too careful. What? What are you talking about? You're a fool, Karen. You developed a silly pride and sympathy for the scapegoat. What a pity for you to die for such nonsense. You can kill devils? Barely evens the playing field. No way. Hmm? The mayor is not that kind of person. It's like a different RPG game that begins with W and ends with Adnahar and the Great Blue Sea, except we skip straight to it instead of it being later in the game. I should tell you one more thing before you die. Why do you think I took the time to be kind to a common citizen like you? For the votes! Hey, stop. After the competition, I told you that there was a change in the final decision for some reason. Actually, that part is not a lie, it's true. But then, why was the decision turned around? I said that's enough. It's really simple. I made it happen. Whoa, he's evil, what? To be the featured pianist, everyone practices like crazy day after day. You're the most pride among all the boys and girls of every age. Wouldn't you like to hear something strange? I was pretty sure that you'd jump at the deal with the devil. Thank you, Noel Cerchetti. Because of your lifelong passion, you were quite easy to manipulate. Don't listen to him. Run. Kill them. Oh boy. Wish I had a gun. Oop, gunshots. Run towards the window on the right edge of the building on this floor. Run. On, on this floor, right? Serpentine! Ooh, that's not good. Hey, snap out of it. I'm here. It's the one to change the outcome. Right, right. Let's get going. What? 
What? What is this Resident Evil? What is he? Bomb? Thinking develop defeat a devil with those cheap tricks. Huh. Stop daydreaming and run. More guards are on their way. Grab the health. Let's go. This is incredible. Okay, whoops. Hang on, we're gonna jump. They jumped out from the third floor. They crazy? What are the guards downstairs to stop them? Can't, they're already out in the street. Can't chase them anymore. Wait for the mayor's orders. The only thing that could make this game any better is the addition of a gun. Breakthrough! Just like that, Noelle Cerchetti realized that she was exploited, tricked, and betrayed by the mayor. Perhaps betrayed is not the right word. Everything was just an illusion from the start. Wow, that's rough. Oh, what? They got away. Even if you corner them, your guards can't take on the great devil. They're just humans wearing armor after all. Hmm, <laughs> maybe you're right. Hunk. Is it my turn, Burrows? You need my bombs and... Demons flamed on you. Well... Yeah, that's right. I can rely on your power. Go play with your fire, demon bomber. <laughs> I haven't had a big fish like him in a while. Better pay me some big bucks for that. A mercenary? Alright then. I'll remind you just in case. Your target is Noel. Don't forget that and do not focus on Charon too much. I think we can take care of the kid after. We have to target the devil who's following her around. You think so? If you underestimate them, you will get hurt. But you never know, you might get a chance to fight a demon. What? She's still in shock. It's been like an hour. Maybe. It's been more than an hour. It's dawn. It seems the city is pretty quiet. He still has to maintain his position as the mayor, so I guess he wouldn't make any big moves. I told you. I told you so! You'll be devastated when Burroughs tells you the truth. Ugh. Do you remember what I told you yesterday? The only way to get your arms and legs back. You have to destroy everything Burroughs has, and that will cancel your first wish. We are going to destroy the city. Okay. Regaining your body parts, revenge on Burroughs, and clearing my reputation. All you have to do is make a decision. I'll follow the second contract and guide you to accomplish your revenge. What do you think? Are you prepared to fight with Burroughs? It's not worth talking to you. I know you're in shock, but we don't have time. Burroughs invol is involved with making deals with devils. That is a big secret. You know about it and you're still alive. Eventually, he will try to bury you for sure. I'm certain they've already started looking for you. I need some fresh air. Is it that hard to process? Come on. You're literally shot at for like 20 minutes. Alright. Then I'll follow you just in case. I don't know if anything will happen, but a devil can't openly walk around in the city. As you like. As you were. 